Peter Miles, Executive Vice President of Operations. Peter, what are your global sales for many BMW and Rolls Royce? Uh, for 2008? Or, yeah, or well, for 2008. For 2008, the total uh, group sales were 1.45 million. What I find interesting is that your certified pre owned cars actually were 10% uh, above the year before that, and your new car sales are down. How is that helping you? Well, uh, I think two things are going on. I think the consumers, uh, a lot of consumers are saying, is it really necessary for me to buy new? Can I justify new? Um, I think it also shows the strength of our certified pre-owned offering in terms of uh, peace of mind for the consumer. Uh, these cars uh, can uh, uh, continue to have uh, free maintenance uh, on them as well as um, uh, extended warranties on those cars too. So uh, in a used car, you're actually getting a nearly new car, and I think that's been the success of the certified pre-owned program. You get as the price of your used car the used cars in general uh, for BMW uh, gone up or down since Yeah, no, since uh, certainly um, uh, since we've uh, seen the um, increase in used car sales uh, over the last uh, few months, uh, creating that extra demand has helped the prices. Uh, the, the, the used car values in, the, in 2008 were significantly depressed for all manufacturers. Um, we've seen ours uh, steadily increase since the beginning of the year. Not back there are many dealers going under right now, going out of business. How many BMW, many Rolls Royce dealers have gone out of business in 2008 and 2009? Uh, we, don't, we haven't had any uh, dealers go uh, into Chapter 11. Uh, actually, that's not true. There has been uh, uh, two small dealers that go into uh, Chapter 11, but it really wasn't uh, so much to do with the trading activities of the company. I mean, a lot depends on um, the cost structure of those businesses. Our dealer network, um, uh, in terms of say, uh, profit as a return on revenue, has actually improved in 2008. So mainly because they have such a strong service business because we provide the free maintenance to the cars. So 97% of our customers actually bring their car back to the dealer. Um, we're the only brand that offers that level of comprehensive maintenance. And whereas you'd see Brand X, uh, perhaps only 50% of their new car customers return for service to the same dealer. That gives our dealers a tremendous uh, advantage from a profitability standpoint, along with... Uh, right now, we're, we have annual sales of 9 to 10 million dollars, uh, 10 million units. Yep. If it stayed that way for the next five years, and I know you don't expect it to, but if it did, how would you uh, suffer through? If, uh, if it actually turned out that the market was at 10, 10 million units, then uh, I think we'd look at each model that we sell in the U.S. in terms of its contribution and profitability and relevance, um, and whether it was viable. So I think you know, in that in that environment, uh, it, it could put pressure on some of what we offer today, as well as potentially what we would offer in the future. Um, but I think that scenario is extremely unlikely. Yeah, for, through 2009 and possibly 2010. I don't think, uh, when you look back in history, even to uh, the times of the Great Depression, that you would anticipate flat automotive sales uh, or, or, or consumer products for um, a five to ten year period. You used to make the Z4 in South Carolina? Yep. Now you make it in Germany? Regensburg. Did you have to lay off anyone in South Carolina because you took that uh, manufacturing away? Um, there's sort of two answers to that question. The first one is that we're expanding in Spartanburg at the moment, so the anticipation is that we'll actually build more cars in America. Um, it'll be the X3, X5, X6. Um, it'll give us a capacity of up to uh, 200,000 uh, units out of that particular factory. In the short term, uh, there hasn't been any significant layoffs in that factory. Currently, right now, we're in the process of spending $750 million. So the fact that uh, we have a softer market at the moment and production is probably um, uh, being cut back a little bit may have led to some reduction in contract labor there. But not You can make about 200,000 cars a year in, out of the South Carolina plant. How many do you export out of the United States? Uh, currently, uh, we export out of the United States around 60% uh, of those cars. Currently, the largest uh, exporter of U.S.-made cars 
um, of any manufacturer here, excluding the sort of NAFTA countries. So we currently hold that position right now. And South Carolina is not unionized? It is not. There is a law that is uh, being passed that allows unions to go in and sort of um, talk to every single individual that didn't vote for the union. How, 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 what do you think of that? How is it working for you? Uh, you know, I think we offer a, uh, a full range of benefits to all our employees within the group, and I think uh, um, the situation in our factory in Spartanburg is, uh, is very stable. I think our employees that we have there are, are very happy with uh, their levels of compensation and the overall benefits that comes with uh, working with um, BMW, and, uh, and uh, I don't anticipate at the moment that that would change. But every plant in Germany is unionized. Uh, I believe that is correct, yes. Um, there's a certain amount of flexibility uh, potentially that you can get through non-unionization um, uh, because it's a slightly less uh, bureaucratic process. It doesn't make either one right or wrong, um, but certainly we're quite happy and I think the employees are in those uh, situations. But I don't think there's, there's no particular focus on one factory or another because it's unionized or it's not unionized. And Spartanburg affords us an opportunity to expand and provide a nat uh, natural hedging. Um, and it also affords us the opportunity to build uh, cars more effectively by... Miles, thank you very much. You're welcome.